Halo Makers. Okay, I have a little UV curing light for my resin printer, and it had it has this annoying habit of shutting itself off because it's meant for nails. It shuts itself off before I want it to. So I'm going to mess with this and see if I can bypass its brains. I was in here earlier, took a quick peek. Yeah. And I snapped it together like an idiot. Oh, yeah. Out of the corners. are serviceable parts, that's for sure. But that's okay. Haha. Uh -huh. Like I said, I was in here earlier. I took out the screws. And let's poke around. Let's see if we can bypass all the safety stuff. battery contacts we're picking up five volts so does that mean so I can bring positive and negative from here to the other side of this circuit I think if we just jump from here to here here to here here to here, here to here. Let's throw a wire in there. Okay. Positive. Yeah. Just an alarm. Nothing to be alarmed about. enough hands. Okay. Not a problem. Gonna go with
Just gonna break out the big guns right away. Come on. strippers around here but this stuff is so thin it's hardly like it barely fits into the jaws of the snippers or uh, strippers so it's pretty hard to deal with just gonna do it the old-fashioned way up so quick. Step is step step. Try this side first. Stay on there. Okay. I'm going to test my little theory here. here. I guess we'll use the solid wire for positive. We'll use the one with the stripe for negative. shitty solder joint. There. That doesn't look as bad. And it's about as long as that can reasonably be. Let's unplug this. Just for giggles. I don't care if the timer feature is active or not. Well, I do. Right. The whole point of this is to bypass the timer. But I don't care if it works after this. Alright, that's not the way to say it either. I want the lights to work. I don't want them limited by the timer. I should have brought out the microscope. There we go. I always cut them to 
pretty long. Well, let's see what happens. So we got five volts over there. And orange is positive. Orange and white is negative. And we had five volts here. Oh, hey, look at that. Everything lights up. Okay. Well, that's easy. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. All right. Hopefully that didn't just like trigger it to ground and set off the timer circuit. I'm going to guess that it didn't. I guess we'll know in a minute. I'll tin these. Oh, whatever. I always make these too long. Negative is negative. Positive is positive. Just bend these out of the way of the lights. I'm just going to plug this in. And we'll let that run for a little bit. 31 and we will see if it shuts off in a minute like it normally did I thought I would have to wire up this bottom ground plane and like all these LEDs and this and this all to this point but I guess they're all attached, aren't they? Shut off my soldering iron. I think it looks like it worked. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll put it back together. two screws in this thing. And the rest of it just snapped together. Is this up? Yeah, this was up. You're there. Get 
There. Warranty voided. I wonder if the button does anything now. Nothing. Okay, now it's on all the time, and I can cure my prints for as long as I want. I think we should remove the QC sticker off here. Obviously voided the warranty. I don't like stickers. I can cure my prints as long as I want now without this thing timing out and messing up my day. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I highly recommend these if you uh, go and pick one up. I'm not going to put any links in the description because I'm trying to shop locally now. But if I do find a local supplier for something like that, I'll let you know. Goodbye, makers. Enjoy your day.